Welcome back to Afternoon Garage. So I'm slowly getting this car under control. Did a bunch of things with the paint. Did a bunch of things with the interior. Fixed some rips in the seats, that kind of thing. Um, I guess the last thing I have to do is just clean the engine, kind of send it off on its way. So that's what I'm going to be going over today. It's how to clean the motor. How I do it. I imagine there's lots of other ways you can do this. But let me show you how I do this. This car's been really interesting for me to repair. It's been a lot of stuff I had to do to the car to get the paint body correct on it. With all those antenna holes that I had to fill on the roof and the trunk. But I'm glad I got it under control. Was it worth it? No. Wasn't worth it. All the labor I had to go through, this car sat in this shed for, oh, I don't know, six months before I was ever able to find enough time to come out here and work on it. But really, I was just procrastinating. Procrastinating. Typically how one of these projects go. I've always wanted to own a cop car. This is a P71 Crown Vic. It's 2008. Uh, it has a few things done to it. It does have the original police interceptor wheels. It has the original police box. So a lot of the stuff that's still left on it, you know, it doesn't have the, the spotlight. Although I have that and I can put it on, but I really don't want to make that effort. I have the light bar. The light bar is actually um, the same vintage of the car, so it kind of fits. And of course, this push bar here temporarily mounted it so I could, well, make it look like a cop car. Let's clean that motor. All right, ready to clean this motor. The best thing you can do is kind of protect things a little bit. You can put some tin foil at least around this. Kind of wrap it in there a little bit. Kind of protect that harness a little bit from water. I know it doesn't do much, but... One thing I like to do too, is clean these and remove this.
Now you want to run it for 25, 30 minutes. There's something you'd want to work on. Three motors are always okay to work on. All right, just about ready to call it done on this cop car. The last thing I need to do is clean that engine. Now you can see how really all you need is really hot water. I have an instant hot water heater, so I can produce 140 degree hot water here. Then it's super clean. What I do is I usually get the gallon jug, looks something like that. Then uh, mix it half and half with water. Put it in a Zep bottle, label it. It's usually purple, so you know what it is. But uh, yeah, this stuff works really well. If you like learning things like this, subscribe. Until next time.